Hello, my name is Ryan Lovingood, and I did my topic on Oktoberfest. So what is Oktoberfest? It's a German festivity that takes place originally in Munich, Bavaria, Germany. It begins in the middle of September and lasts for around 16 to 18 days, ending on either the first Sunday of October or the third, which would be German's Unification Day. Uh, the festivity dates back to around 1810, and it's spe speculated to originate from a marriage between King Ludwig of Bavaria and his wife, Teresa. Uh, to the right, uh, there's a painting depicting the two. That's them over here. Uh, the celebration of the marriage was marked by uh, usually horse races, and they also allowed um, almost all the the uh, townspeople to gather in and enjoy uh, the special day as well. In later years, parades of beer and restaurants would be added into the celebration and really take on a whole new uh, aspect to it. So it's really known for its beer. At the Munich festivity, the only beer that uh, follows the rules of the Rheinsbagat, I think I said that right, only the ones that follow those rules uh, can be served and when they are, they're known as Oktoberfest beers. Below and to the right are pictures of the only six breweries in Munich that produce uh, this beer. I'm not going to try and butcher the pronunciation of all those, but they're pretty cool. Um, so the beer that they produce, the Oktoberfest uh, beer, it's called Marzan, and it is a lot darker and stronger than other normal beers. It has around 6% alcohol. Um, and to the right, we have a picture of the mayor, who is, after the uh, morning parades have uh, con been conducted, at 12 noon, the mayor comes in and taps the first keg, which symbolizes or officially declares the opening of Oktoberfest. Um, some cool events of tradition. One would be like the costume and rifleman's procession. This is another parade, but it's cool because it has upwards of seven to eight thousand participants who dress up in March. I think it's seven kilometers to the fairgrounds. Uh, this parade offers a glimpse into the diversity of the different groups who live in their regions as they display their local uh, traditions. Uh, some some important Oktoberfest music uh, is very, very, very popular. They love the traditional folk music and polkas and they like to have a very, very big influence of brass instruments, as you can see to the right. And kind of to the top a little bit, you see a little bit of the guys with the brass, but in the bottom there's a lot of people with the brass instruments. Um, usually, as the day goes on, the music gets uh, louder and the people become more festive, locking arms and swaying and singing together. They all just become, I guess, a lot more joyously happy. And finally, we have some of the food that they offer here. Um, the food served at, at Oktoberfest is heavily influenced by different types of meat, like grilled chicken, roast duck and goose, uh, roasted pork, oxtails, and uh, types of bratwurst. But even those who are uh, vegetarian in nature can also find food selections like cheese and bread plates or soft pretzels. To the top right, we have a picture of uh, an average Oktoberfest table that might contain a variety of average foods. Um, for those with a sweet tooth, they offer a bunch of sweet snacks. Um, they offer sugar glazed almonds fruits and cotton candy and the picture to the right depicts a woman at a uh, I believe it's a candy shop selling 
things like the uh, glazed almonds. So yes, that is my presentation on Oktoberfest. Thank you.